Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 89. Hey guys, welcome back. I got a whole lot of finished objects to share with you guys because some of them are things that I finished recently and I've had to keep secret until uh, Amber from Uwa Crochet and myself announced our Halloween cow, which we did earlier today um, through YouTube videos on my channel and her channel. If you haven't seen those, check them out and I'll link all her links below. In the Halloween cow video, we're announcing, you know, the whole Halloween crochet along. It It's also a craft along. Um, on oh, my part, I'll take any kind of crafts and enter it. Knitting, uh, loom knitting, anything like that. Uh, paper crafts even, I guess. <laughs> but um, the only reason I do call it a crochet along is because the patterns that we both designed for the cowl are crochet ones. So uh, if you want to get the bonus entries for using our patterns, you have to crochet them. <laughs> but um, other than that, just if you want just regular entries, um, you can make anything. That's Halloween related. Anyways, I wanted to throw that out there real fast, but, um, so some of the patterns I'm showing you, I've made a, even some a few weeks ago, and I just kept them, you know, hidden <laughs> until, uh, the patterns were released. So now her Amber's pattern is released on her Etsy shop, and I think her Ravelry. I'll link her Etsy shop below for sure, because it's already in the description. <laughs> and, um, my patterns are also up on my Etsy shop right now, and that'll be linked below too if you want to check them out. But I've got, um... A bunch of whips I mean a bunch of finished objects one I can't show you two actually because they're in my county fair still I don't go and pick my items up until I think Sunday this coming Sunday I think so I need to look and make sure it's not Saturday I'm pretty sure it's Sunday I don't know one of the days <laughs> and that's one of my patterns that I designed and one that I just happened to make before the fair I did show it in one of my random vlogs and um but I didn't show it like on a No Catch Name episode. So I will show that. And then next time I record a No Catch Name episode. Um, to let you guys see it. And you know link it and all that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and hop in. And start with just. I got my list here. So I'll just start at the top of my list. <laughs> and uh, this one. Some of you would have seen if you watched uh, Vlogist. I think I shared it on Vlogist. But it is called the Amigurumi Cow by Grace and Yarn. And it'll, all my links will be below as usual. <laughs> so I'll just check them out. Ta-da! It might be a little blown out because I have the window open for sunlight. It's pretty big. But it's a cow. It's really cute. I'm going to rotate it around. <laughs> it is made with all red heart yarn, I'm pretty sure. White, black, um, petal pink, and this up here is Erin. And uh, it was a pretty easy pattern. Just as a lot of sewing. If you don't enjoy sewing, uh, I wouldn't suggest this pattern because you got to sew the arms, the spots, the nose, the eyes, unless you have safety eyes, the ears, and the little horns. Um, the pattern calls for safety eyes, but I didn't have any big ones. I got to order some bigger size ones. So I just made crochet circles and sewed them on there, and I think it's fine. And um, the spots were supposed to be on the back, but I either made the spots too big or something. So I just put one on his back and one on his head. I think it's super cute. It's a really cute pattern. I made it for my craft fair that's coming up in uh, October. But yeah, I wanted to make more until I made this and I was like, I think one's enough because it's, it's a little, it's not annoying, it's just, uh, it's a lot of sewing and I don't really enjoy sewing that much. But he's cute and he's free. All right, the next pattern that I finished, I finished this um, two or three days ago. I made it in like two days, I think. And this turned out way bigger than I thought. Uh, this is a pattern. It's a free pattern on her website, which will be linked below. And you can also buy the PDF ad-free version for $1.99. All her patterns are really cheap like that. And uh, that's awesome. I actually, I bought the PDF of a couple of her patterns. And I want to go back and buy some more of them. Because she does on the cutest patterns ever. But her website is called stringydingding.com. And it will be linked below. And I think most of her patterns are listed for free on her blog. And then you can also buy the PDF. Uh, versions of them, but this is so cute. Ta -da! It's the ice cream Norwal. It turned out way bigger. Like you can see how big it is. This is my head. <laughs> I, I for some reason I was thinking it's gonna be like that because it's amigurumi and from the pictures you can't really tell unless someone's hands are in the picture. And I just assumed it was gonna be small until I started working on the body and I was like, this is turning out big, but it's adorable. See, this is an ice cream cone as his horn, and then he's got a cherry melted ice cream with sprinkles. And then he's like, um, well, I guess that could be like chocolate glaze maybe. And he's the ice cream or this is ice cream that's just on his head. So this might actually just be a whale, 
but the ice cream cone makes him look like a normal. <laughs> and he's got little cheeks. It is so cute. I got a hair on there. Always, always hair. His body is made with Red Heart Super Saver Aaron. The cheeks are perfect pink, which is my favorite pink color from Red Heart. The brown, I think, is coffee. This is cafe latte. This is cherry red, which is appropriate. And then the sprinkles are cherry red, bright yellow, white, and blue. <laughs> All red heart. Every minute of it's red heart. And then I did use safety eyes. And the mouth is embroidered with uh, red heart super saver black. And what I did is it's four ply. So I untwisted it into two strands of two. And I used, uh, so it's like two strands of the four ply red heart. I like to do that because it's basically like embroidery floss and it's easier than keeping embroidery, fl embroidery floss on hand. This is a really fast pattern. I made it by, while watching Little House on Prairie <laughs> and uh, sewed it together. It, it is kind of a lot of sewing too though because you got to sew the cheeks on, the little uh, fins. These two are separate. The chocolate separate, the cherry separate to the chocolate, and the cone is separate to the chocolate. But um, it turned out adorable and I would like to make more. Because you can change the color of the well and the ice cream, you know, make it look like different flavors. And uh, it's so cute. <laughs> and it's just huge. It's just way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Might have been me, though. I might have used the wrong hook or something. Because I've done that before. I've done that a lot of times. But it's adorable. This is for the craft fair, too. Okay. My next finished object is from a book my sister bought me. And I want to mention that real fast. I got it right there. Let me grab it. My sister grabbed me this book on Amazon. It was originally like $22, $23. And somehow she seen that it was on sale for eight something. So she bought it for me without me even knowing. She didn't even tell me until she, it shipped. And uh, so she gifted it to me. And it is called Whimsical Stitches. I've actually had it in my wish list. And the designer is Lauren Epsy or Ipsy. I'm not sure how you said that. But um, I tried to look up her website. And she does have a website, but she doesn't have any of her patterns on it. Um, you have to buy the book. And on her website, the book is sold out. So um, Amazon's your best bet. And I looked before I filmed, and it's still on sale right now. And it, I have it linked below if you're interested. You can just click that link, and it'll take you right to the Amazon list. And it's not an affiliate link or nothing like that. It's just a link. I just threw it on there. But it's got tons of cute patterns in it. I want to make all of them. <laughs> I'll probably make all of them. I actually have some marked already. And yes, I'm a page turner. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like that, but this is my book. And I like um, worn out books, you know. A well-read book is awesome. But I plan on making these ducks. And she's got cupcakes in here that I want to make for the craft fair. But what I did already make, uh, I made this last night. Was that last night? No, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> I can't remember anything. But um, it's for the craft fair, and it's ta -da, a little pumpkin pie. <laughs> It's got a little face on it and a dollop of whipped cream and a crust. Super easy. This brown part is all one piece and you just do some different stitching to make it turn. And then the sides is like a long strip and the top is a separate piece. And then this is actually a really long strand that you like curl up. And in the book they have you sew it kind of flat like a coin. But I actually, I wanted to give it like to look like a dollop of whipped cream so I sold it all kind of get together it's kind of tricky <laughs> but uh, just to make it look like a little dollop of whipped cream and uh, so it's one two three four different pieces that you sew together and it's pretty easy to sew together it's stuffed with fiber fill in the pattern they have cardboard on the bottom but I, I didn't think that was necessary and if a kid buys it you know that would get all bent up anyways like instantly so um, I just stuffed it with fiber fill and called it a day they had little cheeks on the book but it was made with embroidery floss and I just I didn't feel the need to actually put the cheeks on there so I just did eyes and a little mouth <laughs> and I think it's adorable and they have a version in here or like different steps to make it into like a cherry pie or you could really make it into any kind of pie just by changing the colors and finding like a little little amigurumi or applique or something to put on the top you know like a little lemon wedge or lime wedge or something to make different little pies and it's just really cute but this is full of patterns it has tons of them I don't even know how many I didn't count them but there's a lot of different patterns in there and it's only eight dollars so 
you know, some patterns are like five dollars each. So this is this has multiple patterns in it. So this is a really good deal right now if you want to grab it while it's on sale. Because I don't know how long it's gonna be on sale. <laughs> so um get it. I wanna make some of these tulips. That's so cute. I wanna make all of it. I'm probably gonna make all of it. <laughs> but the pie is uh Red Heart Super Saver. Actually I don't know what this is. This is this may not be Red Heart. This was in a scrap that someone gave me. I'm not sure. Because it's too dark to be buff. It's not Red Heart Super Saver buff. It's a different color. But the orange is Carrot by Red Heart. And the white is white by Red Heart. And the black is black. <laughs> and uh, just polyfill inside there. Alright, my next finished object is Amber's pattern for the Halloween crochet along. I accidentally scrolled. Where is it? Right there. And hers is a ghost. <laughs> I made it a cream color because I was out of white until I got some gifted to me. So now I do have white. But um, it's called Spooky the Friendly Ghost. And it is available on her Ravelry and her Etsy shop. And her Etsy and her YouTube and all that stuff will be linked below. But here's the ghost. <laughs> it's kind of hard to hold him because he's, you know, he's floppy. But he's kind of made in a lovey style. It's like a granny square. Uh hexagon <laughs> and then you do add more to the back part to make it you know look like the ghost tail or you know like he's in motion of flying <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense he's got his little hands two of them <laughs> and then his head it's blown out really bad because of the sunlight but I like having natural light and uh, he is a cream color as you can tell it is red heart super saver Aaron and then his eyes are black white and blue <laughs> I think that's the name of it, just blue. Oh, I wish it wasn't so glary. But, um, his eyes are made separate and sewed on, and his mouth is just stitched on, and the same as his nose. His hands are separate. So this is actually really easy, and it's not a lot of sewing. There is some shaping to the head, but it's really easy. She did, she explains it well, and I didn't have any issue with the pattern. And she does have a video tutorial coming for the, um, the hands, because they're a little tricky, but not horribly. It's, you know, I did it without any trouble, so if I can do it, anybody else can. <laughs> but yeah, he's super cute. I gotta figure out what to do with him, like where to put him. I have an idea of putting a dowel <laughs> this way and then figuring out something to make his head stand up good. So that his hands, his arms, I guess, and his head stands up and then I could hang him from somewhere. I just haven't figured out where yet. But I think it's cute. All right. I feel like my camera shifted a little, but that's okay. My, okay, I still got three more finished objects to share with you guys. Yeah. Let me get my thing pulled back up. I had to stop to message my sister. She messaged me. But, uh, okay. So, I made two of the, my next finished objects. And this is patterns that I wrote myself. I designed, and they're available now on my Etsy shop. And until the, through the 13th, so really until the 14th, um, they're 30% off on my Etsy shop. But the first one is Frankenstein Candy Tote by me. <laughs> Let me get it poofed out here. And it's just a little tote. I think they're called bucket bags or something like that. Bucket totes because of the shape. They do have a round bottom. And it's pretty roomy on the inside. <laughs> they're pretty good little size totes. But um, it's made with Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green and Black and White. The mouth and the stitches are just stitched on. The eyes are separate. One's slightly bigger than the other one. Let me get this back folded. And then there is a little bit of special stitching up at the top. It's called spike stitches, but they're super easy. They're basically single crochets. You just go down a row. And the handle shaping is pretty easy, I think. This was the first one I made, and uh, his eyes look good. The second one I made, his eyes are a little far apart. <laughs> I thought about taking them off and moving them just a smidge over because they're really wide apart. But it's the same exact pattern. So I do have two of those that I finished. There's a fuzz on the back of that one. These have been laying in my craft room for two and a half, three weeks since I made them. These were the ones I made writing the pattern and then testing my own pattern. So I will actually have another one because when I, I go to make the video tutorial, which I want to do for all my patterns, I'll have another one. But I'm going to put these in my craft fair. And um, I think they're cute because I think they'd be cute for uh, gifting some kid in your life some Halloween treats. Or, you know, adult, anyone in your life some Halloween treats. Because it would hold a lot of candy. 
or even like Jesse, when we go trunk or treating to some churches, you know, they have like 12 cars. So this would hold 12 trunk or treats worth of candies probably. And what we normally do on Halloween is we have a smaller bag that he carries or a bucket. And then in the car, we have the big bag that we dump it in. <laughs> and then he's nice and empty for the next church or business that we're trunk or treating at. So um, I think this would be great for that because it's little and he can carry it. It won't get super heavy for him, but it will, it'll still hold a ton of candy and the little bags of candies and stuff that uh, people give out to kids. And then we can just dump it in the big bag <laughs> before we take it home. But it would also, I think it'd be a really cute gift bag. And uh, you could probably even fit a little project in there if you wanted to use a project bag. Um, like a little amigurumi or socks if you make socks. Yeah, so that's available in my shop right now if you're interested. I'm super excited and proud of myself because I've been wanting the right patterns for forever. And I finally did it and finally released them. So I feel like I have check that off of my to-do list. <laughs> the next pattern that I wrote and finished forever ago is just like the Frankenstein one, but it's jack-o'-lantern candy tote. And it's the same base, essentially. Get it all poofed out here. But it's a jack-o'-lantern <laughs> and it's got curly cues. Same shape, same bottom, same amount of space. <laughs> it's Red Heart Super Saver, spring green, black, and pumpkin. I always get pumpkin and carrot mixed up. And then um, the mouth and the eyes are separate and the curlicues are separate and they're just sewed on. And uh, the mouth is basically a ripple stitch. It's just, you know, you don't make it big enough to be a blanket. You just make it a few rows, I kind of forgot, and sew it on there so that it gives it the jack-o'-lantern smile. Ugh. But yeah, I think it's super cute. And again, same thing I said for the other one. It would be good for gifts or candy or whatever, or even decoration. Because you could like set it on you know, like your table or something and stick some flowers like up there in that skull <laughs> or that freaking sign or something like that out of it and it would just be a cute little basket. <laughs> Alright, the last pattern that I have to share with you guys, the last finished object, because I do have one more but like I said it's at the fair so I can't really show you. And I actually have two of these and one of these is at the fair. And this is the, uh, the last pattern that I designed for the Halloween crochet along. And this is an amigurumi, and it's called Hocus the Witch Frog. Ta-da! <laughs> I think he's so cute. I love his eyes. The way they're, like, big. And then his feet. Down there. But this is the second one I made. The first one I made was green colors, two different shades of green. And he's at the fair, and he actually won second place, which I was super proud of because it's not only something I crocheted, but it's something I designed and then crocheted, and it won a ribbon. So I'm super proud of that. And uh, so this one is Red Heart Super Saver, Saver Carrot. This is an I love this yarn. I think it's called Toasted Almond or something like that. It was a scrap I had left over. Black and white. And this is another I love this yarn, but I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's like a gray. I think it's called like graphite or something like that. And something similar to that, yeah. So this, you make the ball. The warts are separate little circles. The feet are separate. The eyes are separate, and actually the orange part and the white part are two separate pieces that you end up sewing together, and the hat is separate. And uh, I think I explained it pretty well <laughs> in the pattern. I don't know. Everybody who gets it will have to let me know. And uh, don't be afraid to give me feedback, even if it's negative. If you bought one of my patterns, just, you know, I never know how to fix something if someone doesn't tell me something's wrong. So if you buy one of my patterns and have found a typo or found something that I didn't explain good, just let me know. Uh, shoot me a message or email me. My email's in the description. Um... Because then I can make it better and uh, hopefully provide better patterns for people in the future. So don't be afraid to let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, because constructive criticism is a good thing. Don't be all out rude about it, you know. But um, be nice about it. <laughs> but I love this frog. I think he's so cute. I've had this idea in my head forever. And I actually have a couple other ideas that's the same shape, I guess. That um, I just haven't had time to design them because of preparing for my craft fair, which this will also go to my craft fair, and so will the one that's in the uh, the fair. And I'll show him next week, just so you guys see. The green one is the one I originally made, and this was the one I made to test the pattern. And the reason he's not green is because I ran out of the green that I wanted to make the frog with. But yeah, so oh, the the hat is separate too, obviously. I do have mine stitched on. You could just set it on there, or you could stuff it. One of my testers suggested stuffing it, but I liked it unstuffed because then it, you know, you can manipulate it a little bit more, if, however you want it to sit. 
but um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of Hocus. I think he turned out really cute. So that's all my finished objects except the, the other Hocus and the Christmas ornament that is in the fair. And I will show them next week in episode 90. Speaking of episode numbers, I should have my 100th episode of No Catch Name in November, really, right around Thanksgiving. And if I do, if I don't have to skip any for some reason, that 100th video, I'm planning on having a giveaway for that. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up for that. <laughs> on the 100th No Catch Your Name episode, I do plan on having a giveaway. Because it's like a celebratory thing. <laughs> Alright, I only have one active whip. I do plan on starting some stuff out of this book as soon as I get done filming. The ones I have marked. I want to start some of the cupcakes and the little um, ducks. I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> as soon as I get done filming, I'm going to start those. Put something on TV and start them. But I do have one active whip. And this has nothing to do with the craft fair or anything. This is a selfish whip. But I just need something to work on. Like the other day, Devin was driving and I was working on this in the car. And when we're at his dad's house, I need something that I don't need to keep referring to a pattern. Or waiting rooms, you know, stuff that I can carry with me. That I don't have to keep either looking at a pattern or like Emma Groomies. They're kind of hard to carry with you because you have to carry stuff in and everything too. So um, I need an easy pattern to carry around for stuff like that. So I did start a blanket for myself. I don't want to lose any of my stitches. Let me pull some slack. And I'm using... Um, Ah. Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. This is some of the clearance yarn at Hobby Lobby a few months ago. Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. And this colorway is called An Eclair to Remember. And it's these shades of blue plus browns. And the browns I've already used, so I have to show them to you. I don't want to lose my stitches. But this is a pattern that I've made a thousand times. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. It's a 12 point star um, blanket. And I, this is the pattern I use for Lovey's. This is about as big as I get it. And then I put the amigurumi head on top. And I, I love that uh, for Lovey's because it's a cute pattern. But I'm just going to make a ginormous blanket because I have, I think, nine balls of this. And I'm just going to make all of it into this just for the couch. You know, I have a big snuggly blanket. And I really love these colors. But um, this pattern is called the Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket by Celeste Young, <laughs> and it's only available on Ravelry as a free download. I've had it for years. I can't even remember when I got it. Um, I made Jesse one when he was when he, before he was even born, so I've had it for a while. But it's only available on Ravelry as a free download, and I'm only saying that because I know a lot of people don't use Ravelry anymore. Um, but there are tons of patterns similar to this, so if you don't want to go to Ravelry to get this one for free. Um, there's more out there. Just look it up. Uh, look up like a uh, ripple round blankets or something. It would bring it up. But this is a 12 point star. You could probably look that up too. 12 point star blanket. But um, I love this pattern. I pretty much have it memorized. And I make it all the time for loveys. I've made my sister a big one. I made my son one. You know, I just, uh, they're just really pretty blankets. And I love them. But yeah, so you'll, you guys will be seeing this randomly get bigger. <laughs> just as I have time to work on it. Ow, I just scraped myself with the label. I was living in my big old cardinal bag. This is one of the first bags I made uh, when I was first learning how to sew bags. Ugh. Speaking of bags, I have a bunch of bags cut in there. The ones I showed in videos lately. I haven't started working on them yet because I'm waiting for my labels to come from en the Etsy shop that I ordered from. She shipped them yesterday and they're supposed to be here Monday. So what I'm going to do is probably later today and this weekend, I'm going to start sewing the notion bags and then the bag bags and just sew up to the point of where I'm supposed to add the label and then I'll just wait until I get the labels and then I can finish up the bags and post them. That's the plan. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. <laughs> but um, so I got a lot of bags coming to the shop soon. Floral prints and some random prints. I did have someone ask for uh, like a bandana print and I got some of that and I found a fall print that I just thought was pretty so I grabbed it and what else? I can't remember all but um There'll be some random bags coming up soon, and I'll actually go do a big shopping trip maybe next week. So if there's any prints you're interested in, um, let me know in the comments or something. And the next time I, what I do is I usually wait for like Joann's to have one of those 20% off your total order type coupons, and then I go and buy a bunch of material. But uh, And I check that app every day for that coupon. But um, So if you have any uh, pet prints that you're interested in, just let me know, and I'll try to look for it. And if I can't find it, I'll put it on my list on my phone. And that's what I do when people tell me prints that they like. 
like someone wanted a Care Bear print and I cannot find it anywhere. Any other day they'd be Care Bear print somewhere. But all the stores that I've gone to lately haven't had a Care Bear print, but I'm still looking. <laughs> and uh, someone else mentioned Pete the Cat. So I've been looking for that. That's like a kid's storybook, I think. But um, anyways, just let me know if you're interested in any tops and I will try to find it for you. All right, I think that's everything that I wanted to share. I did want to um, mention the Halloween crochet along a little bit. I, I mentioned all of the details for that in my last video that was earlier today. And if you're interested in that, just go one video back and check that out. I have all the information listed there and all the links. But I'll also put all the links in the bottom of this one for my Facebook group, Amber's Facebook group, Amber's Etsy, my Etsy, Amber's YouTube. I think that's all of them. <laughs> but they'll all be linked. Um, I think that's about everything I have to share today. I do have some Happy Mail that I will show you guys in just a minute. I gotta go grab it. I do have one more acquisition. I bought this today. I had to go grab a Red Heart Super Saver buff. Um, because I don't have any more of similar colors for like pie crust. And the little cupcakes in this pattern have uh, that color bottom. So uh, I was surprisingly out of buff. I usually have a ton of it. But I needed more so I grabbed a ball of that today. I got some Happy Mail today from Patty. And the card got all bent. <laughs> that was my own fault. But she sent me, she sent some little things for Jesse. One of them is over there. I already put them on the window. They're, um, those window stickers. They're Halloween themed. Uh, I'll show them eventually, I'm sure. I put them up. Jesse's still at my mom's. And, um, when he comes home, I'll put them there so that he can see them. And then he can move them around if he wants to. But she also sent for him this cute little paddle ball kit that you color. He's gonna love this. He loves these little things. There's one right there. <laughs> He loves these little crafts, and he's going to love this thing right here. I know he's going to love hitting that. <laughs> but it comes with the little markers. And then she also sent this little, I think it's a magnet. Um, yeah, it's, it's got a magnet in it, yeah. It's like a magnet, refrigerator magnet of a little Halloween owl, and it comes with the markers, too. He's going to love that, and I'm going to love that, because I love when he makes crafts, and then we'll stick it on the fridge or on the door, because our doors are metal. And then for me, she sent... Um, some dish or hand towels slash what are they called oven mitt sets they, let me let me try to get them all yeah so like this is the hand towel and then this is the pot holder that goes to it and then this one is the hand towel and the oven mitt this one's really cute <laughs> This is dogs wearing Halloween costumes. You can't really see it that well. Oh, there's a cat there too. The towel. And then this pretty one. This looks like something my sister would like. This looks like Pioneer Woman-ish. <laughs> the colors. But um, what I'm going to try to do with these is make the... Oops, I just knocked something in the floor. Um, the topped towels. I know some people do it with both sides and some people cut them in half and do it. I haven't ever done that before. I've been wanting to, but I've never actually tried it. So I'm going to look up some tutorials and stuff and just get an idea for the different ways of doing it because, you know, the whole towel. If I cut them in half, I can make multiple ones. But um, I want to learn how to do it first before I go cutting any of these or trying to do anything. And then uh, take them to my craft fair and maybe sell some. I don't know. And I probably keep some too. If I keep any, it's, it's going to be this one. <laughs> because... Uh, who doesn't love dogs and cats and costumes? <laughs> and I actually need some new um, oven mitts because the ones that me and Devin have were gifted to us by my mom when um, we first moved in together. And she had them for like ever before that. So they're really worn out and I need to get some new ones anyways. And this one's cute. But I don't want to get it all stained up from, you know, pans and stuff. So this might be like a decorative one and then I actually buy some more that I can actually use. I don't know. But I got that today in the mail. I was excited about that. I think that's everything. Um, nothing's going on this weekend. Devin has to work, I'm pretty sure, most of the weekend. We did have some sad stuff happen in our family. In Devin's family, his aunt has been put on life support. And um, she has a 0% chance of pulling through. So they're, they're probably going to be taking her off life support. So, prayers and good thoughts and whatever you believe in towards Devin's family would be great. Um, we went to visit her last night at the hospital. And, uh, you know, it's always sad to see someone in a condition like that. But, 
other than that, everything's fine, I think. I can't think of anything else that's going on. <laughs> but yeah, so check out all the Halloween cow links below and check out that book if you're interested in making Amigurumi because it's a really good deal because it's only $8 plus the shipping. So, um, but you get all kinds of patterns. There's like different categories with different patterns in it. I don't even know. I should have counted so that you could kind of get an idea of how much per pattern it would be. But it would be cents per pattern for sure because there's a ton of patterns in there. So check that out if you're interested. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale. So definitely go over there quick. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything. I'm babbling now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.